Hello, my first grade friends. We're gonna start a new book. This one is called Bunny Double, We're in Trouble. And it's another one of those books that has extras at the end. So I will make copies of those mazes and everything and get them sent over to you in case you like to do those. Here's the first page. It's a My Weird School special. And there's our friend. Looks like he's carrying a basket of eggs. Not sure what he's gonna do. There, are, here we have the contents. And remember the content page shows us how many chapters are in the book and what page each chapter starts on. So today we're gonna read chapter one, how to look like a dork. And it's gonna start on page one. Looks like there are 12 chapters in this book plus the extras at the end. Here's our page. It looks like it's showing us pictures of all of our favorite friends, AJ, Ryan, Michael, Andrea, Neil, Emily, and Alexia there on her skateboard. And here's a locker. Oh, look at that. Do you see what that says on that hat? Crazy. We remember that. Oh, look, there he is. Chapter one, how to look like a dork. My name is AJ and I do not like wearing a tie. They are horrible. Who came up with the idea that boys should wear a skinny piece of cloth around their neck on holidays? That was the dumbest idea in the history of the world. Wake up, AJ, my mom shouted from downstairs. Get dressed. Don't forget to put on your new shirt and tie. What? I opened my eyes. It was Sunday. There was no school. We were on spring vacation. Why did I need to get dressed up? Do I have to, I yelled. It's Easter, AJ, my dad shouted. Show your respect. Respect? Why is it respectful to wear a string around your neck? That makes no sense at all. When I grow up, I'm going to be a professional skateboarder. Skateboarders don't wear ties. They wear sneakers and ripped jeans. I got up and put on my new shirt. Then I put on my dumb tie. Well, I tried to put on my dumb tie. The dad once showed me how to tie a tie, but I didn't remember very well. I put the fat end over the skinny end and looped it around. No, that wasn't right. Then I tried putting the skinny end over the fat end and looped it around. That wasn't right either. How do you tie a tie anyway? Ties are impossible to tie. Hurry up, AJ, my mom yelled from downstairs. We have to go. I tried to tie the tie every which way. Nothing worked. It looked like a bird's nest hanging around my neck. This was going to be the worst day of my life. That's when dad came into my room to see what was taking me so long. He was wearing his nice suit. This tie is broken, I told him. It doesn't work right. Here, buddy, dad said, let me help you with that. My dad stood behind me and tied the tie in like two seconds. He pulled the knot all the way up to the top. Uh, you're choking me, I got this tie is cutting off my air supply to my brain. Need oxygen, feel woozy, everything's spinning. I think I'm gonna pass out. Must go back to bed. Oh, stop being so dramatic, Dad said. Let's go downstairs. When we got to the top of the stairs, my mom looked up at me. A big smile spread across her face. You look very handsome and grown up, AJ. I look like a dork, I said. When we have time. We're going to start on chapter two, the Y game. My older sister, Amy, was already downstairs. She was all dolled up in her pink dress, white shoes, and a frilly Easter bonnet. My mom was dressed up fancy too. It looked like we were all going to a funeral. Okay, let's go, my dad said. Do I have to go, I asked. Yes, you have to go, AJ said my mom. Why, I asked. Because it's Easter and this is what we do on Easter, said my dad. Why, I asked again. If you want to, don't want to do something, try playing the Y game. It's fun. Here's how you play. No matter what your mom or dad says, just keep asking why. Drives grown ups crazy. Sometimes the Y game can go on for hours. 
We have to go because it's a family tradition, said my mom. Why? I asked. It just is, said my dad. Why? Because I said so, my dad barked. That's not fair, I whined. The why game always ends up with the grown-up barking, because I said so. And then you have to whine, that's not fair. Nobody knows why. I'll take care of this, Amy whispered in my ear. Don't you know what that means? Oh, I'm sorry. She pulled me to the side. It's Easter, Amy whispered in my ear. Don't you know what that means? It means I have to wear a tie. No, Amy whispered. It means you get to eat lots of C-A-N-D-Y candy. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Now she was talking my language. They're going to have tons of chocolate, Amy whispered, and marshmallows and peeps. Peeps? Did she say peeps? My name is AJ and I love peeps. In case you live in a cave where they don't sell peeps, they are these delicious marshmallow candies shaped like chicks and bunnies. They're coated with sugar, which is my favorite food. You can put sugar on just about anything to make it taste good. I bet that if you covered a clump of dirt with sugar, it would probably taste good. Not that I'm gonna eat dirt or anything, but I bet my friend Ryan would eat a sugar-coated dirt clump. He'll eat anything, even stuff that isn't food. Marshmallows are already made of sugar, so they taste great. But then they put even more sugar on them to turn them into peeps, and that makes them taste even better than a plain marshmallow. I bet that if you took a peep and sprinkled even more sugar on it, it would taste even better than a plain peep. I should try that sometime. The point is that peeps are the greatest invention in the history of the world. And see, so you see a star, so we look down at the bottom, and the little star means a footnote, and it, the footnote says, well, I guess the light bulb was pretty good too, but it would be weird to eat light bulbs. The person who invented peeps should get the Nobel Prize. That's a prize they give out to people who don't have bells. And the best part is that on Easter, you can eat all the peeps you want. No questions asked. I have learned a lot about life in my eight years. Sometimes you have to take the bad with the good. If you want to get really great at skateboarding, you have to spend hours and hours practicing. If you want to get great grades in school, you have to spend hours and hours studying. And if you want to eat peeps, you have to wear a dumb string around your neck for hours and hours. Let's go, I said, charging out the door. This was going to be the best day of my life. Okay, my friends, tomorrow we will pick up with chapter three.